Our computer prices on the way up. Last week's Taiwanese earthquake may be the reason why. KMBC 9's Chris Ketz live in Blue Springs, where one man in the computer business is watching it all unfold. Chris? Inside the offices of Galaxy Elite Computers on 7th Highway, where the quake in Taiwan is big news. In fact, there's a report tonight on abcnews.com which uh, talks about how the quake is sending tremors through the toy and the personal computer industry. And the reason why is the memory chips, the tiny computer memory chips that power units like this one are made in Taiwan, where people right now are worrying about so much more. It's been one week since the big earthquake. The damage is everywhere. Relief and recovery will take months. Reconstruction may be longer. Watching it all with a keen eye is Daryl Hicks. His small computer company relies on parts either made or shipped from Taiwan. Once the last ship has made it in from Taiwan, uh, which should be in another week and a half, that, uh, that might be the start of the shortage on uh, all these processors. Because of the quake, Hicks predicts computer prices here may be going up. Some of the world's leading manufacturers of computer chips are in Taiwan. These are the tiny chips that help make your computer run faster and with more memory. Last month, Hicks could buy one of these tiny chips for $85. Today, $325 is what they sell for. And tomorrow, who knows? Nobody really has a crystal ball, but you can do the math. 12% uh, of all the chips are manufactured out of Taiwan, and, and I know for a fact that those factories are, have a, uh, are, are not functioning right now. And it comes at a time when retail computer competition is up and prices are down. Newspaper ads are full of deals on new systems and internet providers. If prices do go up, Hicks isn't sure how long they'll last. Looking further into this internet report, the good news is most of Taiwan's semiconductor plants were spared serious structural damage, but the bad news is the power's been out for a week, and nobody really knows when it's coming back or when these semiconductor plants will return to full production. So it is certainly something to think about as the busy holiday rush is, is upon us. So many questions about such a huge industry, not just there, but here as well. We're live in Blue Springs. Larry Laurie, downtown to you. Chris Kent's live with the very latest. Thank you, Chris. Witnesses say you